Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from the internet to your Brother Scan and Cut machine. Now, these are the .fcm files, which are the Brother Scan and Cut files that your machine reads. So, for instance, we've got free downloads on our website. If you sign up to our newsletter, you get access to these free Scan and Cut cutting files. But you need to know how to get them from our website onto your machine. So you might also find other bloggers who give away free files as well. So this will be helpful for that. So for instance here, we've got a folding gift tag. So we've got a download link. And if I right click and go save target as, you can see I get a pop up. Now this is just asking me where I want to save the file. Okay, you so see we've got the file down here and it's an FCM file, but it's saying, where do you want to save it? Now I like to save it in my downloads folder. So I'll click on that. You can choose wherever you like. You might want the desktop. A lot of people put it there because it's easy to find. As long as you know where to find it again, that's fine. Just choose where you like. And then I'll go save. Okay. Now it says here it has downloaded and has completed. So if I go to Explorer now and then click on my downloads, you can see the folding gift tag is there, the .fcm file. So that's great. That one's done. Now what happens with files when you're downloading from the from the internet sometimes you won't get them in the in the format like the .fcm you might get them in a zipped format now the reason files are zipped is to compress them you might have multiple files that um, you don't want to download one after the other you just download one complete file and it holds a, a whole heap of files in that one file it just makes it easier and quicker to download so for an example here we've got the valentine's day bundle pack Okay, and that has multiple files in it. So instead of you downloading each individual cutting file, we just zip it up and it's just easier for you to download. So let's try this one. So this is the Valentine's Day pack. Again, I'm going to right click and save target as. And then I'm going to put it in my downloads folder again. You can see down here, it's the Valentine's Day bundle pack. And this one is a zipped folder. You can see the title here. So I'll go save. Okay, and that has completed. So again, back to Explorer. And there you go. So there's the zipped file and there's the .fcm file. Now the .fcm file, I don't have to do anything else with. All I need to do now is transfer that to a USB and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But I don't have to do anything else. So whenever you see .fcm, you th that's all you need to do. But this one here is actually a zip file. You see if I hold my mouse over it, it comes up with compressed zipped folder. So I need to unzip it first. So the way to, to do that is I, all I do is right click on it and then I go extract all and it's just saying where do you want to extract it? Well I'm just going to leave it in the same, see here it says it's, it's already giving me the same folder, the downloads folder and it's going to put all those files into that folder. So I'm going to go OK. If you want to put it somewhere else by all means click browse and just choose somewhere else but it's just nice and easy just to leave it where it is. So I'll go extract and there's all the files that's just jumped up there. Okay, so if I click Downloads again, there we go. So now we've got we've got our folding gift tag, which is the original there. We've also got that original zip file we downloaded, but now we've got this new folder. It's a whole new folder, and this one is unzipped, so that's ready to go. If I double click on it, there's all the files. So I come back to Downloads again. Now the original zip file here, you can actually delete that if you wish. Once it's unzipped, you don't need to keep the original zipped files but my personal preference is always to file these away somewhere safe if this folder gets deleted accidentally I've got the original zip file and I can just come back to that and unzip it again but for the moment I'm just going to delete it only because I want everything clear off the screen here so I'll go yes okay so there we go we've got our two files ready to go now we need to get these onto a USB so I've already plugged the USB into my USB port on my computer and it shows up here. Mine's called Lexar. Okay, yours might be called something different, but that's where it sits. It'll sit under the computer section. If you're on a Mac, it'll be under the devices section. So there it is there, Lexar. So all I need to do, I can click and drag these over to there if you know how to click and drag. But if not, all you need to do is right click on it, on one of the files, right click and go copy. And then come over to the USB, click on it, and then right click in that space there and paste. 
there we go there's one so I'll come back to downloads again because I've got to transfer the other one over and I'm going to transfer the whole folder over so I just right click on the folder copy come back to my USB because I'm going to paste it in there now and right click and paste and there we go so in my USB now I've got the folding gift tag and the Valentine's bundle pack and if I double click on the Valentine's bundle pack there are all the FCM files okay you'll notice that we've also got JPEG images in there you don't really need to transfer them to your brother scanner cut but we put them there just so you can see what the what the cutting file looks like so it doesn't matter whether you put them in or not it's up to you but I like to just keep them all together all right so there we go so we're ready to go so now I can eject this right click eject the USB and I can pull it out this out of the back of my computer now or out of your USB port on your computer and I can take it over to my brother scan and cut so we'll show you what to do next with that so I've got my file saved on the USB so all I need to do is pop it into the side of the scan and cut and then we come around we select pattern save data and then the USB option okay and there's our files here so we've got the Valentine's pack and we've also got the folding gift tag now you see the Valentine's pack is in a folder itself so I can click on that and that's how I access the Valentine's Day ones so I simply need to choose a file go OK OK and I can be ready to cut 